Hi, Timothy Younger here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to remote edit files on a server, on a remote server, using Emacs and SSHFS. Now, for those who are familiar with Emacs, you may be wondering why I'm not using Tramp. Well, I haven't quite got that working just right yet. When I do, I'll make a video on that. But in the meantime, I want to show you this method using SSHFS, which is really nice. Uh, it's nice because it is more efficient. I don't have to spend time creating a files locally, then FTPing them up, or creating files locally and using the file manager to load them up. I can just edit on the go. This site, too, is a, a smaller site of mine, so I'm not really worried about making a mistake editing it live. It's only HTML and CSS anyways, so it's kind of hard to make a mistake that way. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm basically just... Uh, creating links to my latest videos on my YouTube channel. And so I want to have a nice place to organize them. So I can easily do this with Emacs. So I'm going to fire up Emacs. And to use SSHFS, I have to open up Terminal. And I'm going to do Alt-X and type term. I'm not going to use eShell because I didn't get it working quite right on eShell. But on a bash terminal, so it gives me the option of a bash terminal, it seems to work pretty well. Okay, to be able to do this, you have to have SSH installed. To do that, you just type sudo apt install sshfs on Debian. On other systems, you might use Pacman or whatever your package manager is. Uh, it's a small package on Debian. It's only like 388 kilobytes, so it's very small. I've already installed it. The second thing you need to uh, have to be able to make this work is you have to have a folder you're going to mount uh, your remote files too. So if I list out my storage, I see I've created a folder called blogs. If I CD into blogs, uh, in that I've created a folder called Tim Unger. So that's where I'm going to mount my stuff from timunger.com. Okay. I'm going to change directory right back into my home directory. And now to mount the files, I'm going to type sshfs, my username for my cPanel, at my IP address for my cPanel. Uh, and then a colon, the name of the folder, so timunker.com, and then where I'm going to mount it to, uh, which will be in my home directory in blogs under timunker. I'm going to hit enter. The first time you do this, uh, it's going to prompt you for if you want to have a fingerprint of uh, this remote um, hookup, you're going to say yes. After that, it'll just prompt you for your cPanel password. So I'm going to type that in and hit enter. And you'll see it ran without any errors. So it's now mounted. Now if I list out the storage and CD into blogs and CD into Tim Unkert, and I list that out, you've got all the files that are on my local uh, or on my remote server. So now I'm just going to change back into the home directory here. And I'm going to go into Dear Ed and begin editing. Actually, let me exit, exit out of here. And now let's go into Dear Ed. And so I'm going to go down to Blogs, into Tim Munkert, and I've got all these files. And I can just go on down here to my index.html, which I want to edit. So if I want to go down to the bottom of the file, uh, I can see, let me just uh, go right here to the end of this line, and I can start to edit files. So I'm going to turn on Emmet mode. Uh, and what I'm going to do is now type li uh, uh, forward arrow a, and then do control j. And now I can add a link. OK, so if you see this website, the last one is Python, even uh, more string manipulation. That's the last link I have. I want to add Python lists, uh, for loops, and while loops. So let's get the shareable link from that. And we'll go right back to the Emacs here. And if I go back, do control Y, and then I want it to open in a different window. So I'm going to do target equals uh, underscore blank. And then it's going to be Python. Uh, and then I think the name is lists, for loops, and while loops. And then I'll go outside of the link and just do a brief description and say something like, in this video, I explore um, 
lists, for loops, and while loops. Something like that in Python. Okay, and I'll save it. So it's now saved. So now if I go uh, over here, and this is you know online, and I refresh, it's going to take a moment, but you see at the bottom here, we have this Python lists, for loops, and while loops. So I'm editing these files remotely now, and I can go ahead and edit a bunch of files um, with just HTML and CSS, because that's what this site is all built on. I'm not going to bore you with that, but this is a great way to edit files remotely. Uh, highly recommend. Uh, if you have any questions, leave comments in the comments below. And I want to thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.